Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless, and today I thought I'd do a beginner's tutorial that is so easy, and it's about creating marbles. Now, I'm sure most of the younger generation has never even seen a marble, but in my generation, kids always had marbles. So let's get started. So the only thing that I pulled in um, from stock photos, and I have the link in the description, is this picture of a glass and I'm only using this to show scale for no other reason it'll just be a background so I'm going to hide that so what I'll do now is I'll go to the shape tool and and make an ellipse and we'll go like that and I'll hold shift and any size you want let's say that size is good and then I'm going to go to layer new live filter layer colors and procedural texture and what I'll do is I'm going to hit a preset and the preset will be marble right down here and there's your marble and I'm just gonna close it up and I'll leave it just at that now this is interesting that I didn't know until I played around with procedural texture if you move this marble around you see that it's really like almost like a background cut out uh, it's it's similar to a mask. I'm going to take this circle and put it where I think it looks good, like maybe right there. And then I'm going to control or command J to duplicate. And I'm going to put this one somewhere else, maybe there, and do it again. And that one looks good, I think, over here. And again, I'm just going to keep repeating until I get as many marbles as I think I want. How about like that? Control or Command J. I will take that one and do it there. And then Control or Command J again. And maybe this one is here. Let's see. Let's do this one right here. One, two, three, four, five. I think six is enough. And so I'm done with that. So now I will rasterize them, each one of them, because I do know if I move them or rescale them later on, it'll move the background. I do not want them. So I'm going to take each one and right click and say rasterize. And then next one, right click, rasterize. Right click, rasterize. Rasterize and rasterize. So now we have flat marbles. They don't really look like marbles. Oops, that one's not rasterized. Let me do that one. There we go. Okay, so now when you move them, the, the pattern goes with it because it's just now a pixel image. So it still doesn't really look like a complete marble yet. It's not, it doesn't have a 3D effect or anything. We'll get to that in a minute. But first, what I thought I'd do now is we, need, we should color them so that they're not all the same. And sometimes it, color works, sometimes it doesn't. So you may have to try different things. So the first one I will try is... Uh, you know what? First, I'm going to go to Effects and go to Color and see if that works. And I'll change this to Color. And whoops, that's Glow, sorry. Change that to Color, and then we'll pick a color. Say we want a say we want a deep blue marble like that, and close. And then we'll pick the next one color overlay and go to color and maybe pick a red but we don't want a bright red in this particular case but maybe something like that or maybe even something in that color range and I'm playing around you pick your own colors and again we're not going to leave it like this this looks very flat we're going to make them look like real marbles soon and I'm okay with that and if you want to try a different method, we can pick another one, go here and go HSL, and maybe change a color. That's the one down here. Maybe change this to a green. And you can change the saturation if you want a bright green or a medium green. I'm going to keep a medium green. Uh, let's try another one like that. We'll do HSL again. I'm trying different kind, different methods, so we'll see. 
And this one may be, I don't know what to do with this one. Let's try. It's not doing that much. Maybe something like that. Let's see what colors we get out of that. I'm not liking that one very much. So let's cancel. Let's delete that one. Um, let's try a different method. <laughs> it's always trial and error, which is great. So we can do to color balance if we want. Let's see how that works. We can change the color. Remember, I'm doing this right now. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to move these around. I'm just playing right now. That's midtones. So how about shadows? We change the color of the shadows. Let's see. And we can have ourselves almost a brownish marble like that. And then one more left, and I think I'll do the effects. Well, there's two more left. So I'm going to do the color overlay again. And I don't know. Let's try. What did we not do? I don't even know. Let's try a, a pale blue, maybe. And again, we can go to color. Don't forget, we, can not only, we don't even have to always go to color. We can try different things. We could do overlay which I think that's kind of cool. It's almost like a blackish marble with blue veins in it. So I'll keep that one. And then this one here, so I'm going to go to effects again, color overlay. Uh, let's do that one in maybe in, in the orange family. Let's see how that works. Oh, I kind of like that. Let's see. I'm going down the line. Okay. I'm going to leave that. That's, that's pretty cool. So now we have the different color flat marbles and we don't want them flat. So now the next trick is to go to effects again, pick each one, go to effects and go to 3D. In 3D you bring the radius up but it doesn't look good so after it only brings it up to 100% but let's try 300, try different percentages. And that's better. We can even go maybe to 400. Let's look at how 400 looks. And that looks more round, and I'm pretty good with that, I think. And we'll close that one up. Okay, so now let's do the next one, and we're going to do each one. We're going to go here. Remember, we go to 3D, and I'd say 400 up here. And there you go. And if you think 400 is too... Uh, you can't roll back because it goes way back. So you have to put numbers in. You can go like 350 if you think you'd rather have a 350. And that's fine too. But I kind of like, I think, 400. So I'm going to go through each one and I'll probably speed it up. We did this. We did this. And now this is the last one. Go to Effects, 3D, and 400. Now we're going to need to resize these and, and make them look a little bit more like marbles. So I'm going to bring in this background. And here was we had a glass. And let me see. Let me make the glass a little bit bigger. And let's go back to here. And let's take all these marbles. And bring them down to size. I'm holding shift. And let's, oops, let's rearrange them. And some should be a little bit smaller than others, and we'll have to figure that out where, where we're going to keep them. This one should be in the front. Okay, that's not bad. And maybe this one behind. So these two should be a little bit smaller because they're further back. So let's just shrink them a little bit. And this one maybe is in the front. Bring it forward. And I think I'm going to actually take everything and move it up so we have more bottom here. And I think this may be down a little more. And you notice I left one here. It doesn't look real here, but we'll figure that out later. And I'm kind of thinking the marbles need to even be smaller. So let's just shrink them slightly, or maybe like that. I think that's kind of good. And this one, maybe bring it down a little bit more because it's toward the front and put these behind them, just something like that. 
or maybe something like this. How about like that? And maybe like that. And now this one in here, we want this one to look like it's in the water. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the mesh warp. We're going to kind of just get it a little, not much, just remember, it's a little bit distorted when it's in the water. And we'll apply that. And that's a little bit too much. I'm going to undo that. Now we're going to try that again. I think just a tiny, tiny bit, almost like it's a little oblong, maybe. I don't know, maybe like that just a slight difference and then I'm going to take the bottom glass of water the background duplicate control command J and put it in front and now you don't see it but if you select that and you go up to this gear here we're into blend options and I'm going to take the linear off and I'm going to kind of bring this down and and maybe decide how much we want to show, we want it to look a little bit like it's in the water. So, and I think that's not terrible. We go like, if we bring it too far down, let's try this side. It's kind of giving it a little bit of a fade in there like it's in the water. And I still don't think it has enough distortion. So I'm going to go back to the warp tool and give it a little, almost like it's pulling, just like it's a little bit in the water and it's distorted a little. And I'm going to hit apply there. And then we need to add some shadows. So let's take this whole group, all, all of them, and we'll group them together. And now maybe we'll add another layer underneath or we could do a drop shadow on that let's first try that and we go to where is it how, outer shadow and then let's see how much of a shadow we want let's just bring it up and offset we want the offset you notice how the shadows go in the other way so we want the offset to go the same way kind of like that and we really actually we want it dark on the bottom like just like that and we really don't want it let me just first bring more of a radius and we really don't want it to be that dark because the, look how it has a bluish tint in this particular one so i'm going to try and grab that blue and it might be too light but if because we already uh, have it as a shadow, but I'm gonna bring it up a little bit, like just try and bring some of that blue in. And I'm okay with that. And maybe the angle a little bit more that way. And I'm okay with that too. I also think it should have more of a shadow directly under it, darker shadow. So I'm underneath that layer, I'm gonna add a pixel layer. I'm going to paint with a soft brush, 0% hardness, and um, maybe I'll paint in a little bit of a blue too. So let's change the color there. I'm gonna double click here. I am going to pick similar to that blue, maybe a little bit darker. Let me go, see like, I'm, I'm just making it a little darker like that. And then I'm gonna close this. And I'm going to start just painting, just kinda, here where you think shadows would be, like directly under it. And like that. And then I'll just give it a Gaussian blur. I'll give it effects, Gaussian blur, and blur that out a little bit. And I can always erase some of that if I want to, but I like that there. And I might erase just maybe this one end right here because the shadow is no, not that much of it this shadow is going the other way so i'm kind of thinking maybe the marbles should be smaller so i'm going to pick the marble 
the shadow and the other marble and shrink it a little bit. Holding shift, take this marble, put it back in the glass and maybe move them somewhere like that. That's a simple way to create marbles. You can create worlds that way, um, put them up in the sky. It's, it's just so simple using procedural texture because they give you presets and those presets work pretty good and you can change the numbers in those presets and you can experiment with that. But this, is, this was just a quick beginner's tutorial and I hope you like it. And if you do, please click like and subscribe and have a great day. Thank you, bye.